How to process a credit card transaction using the swiper. So the first thing that you do is you look for the person's name, you add them to your roster, you click the buy button, and the next screen will pop up. When that screen has popped up, you'll process the transaction just like you would regularly, clicking on whatever it is that they wish to buy. Click the Add Item button, and then click Credit Card Swipe. Once you've clicked the Credit Card Swipe button, you take the Credit Card Swiper and you plug the Credit Card Swiper into the iPad. And once you've done that, it'll come up with a prompt that says you can't use it. And just say, OK, it'll still work. And once you've plugged it in, click the Store Billing Information button, and the cursor will be in the swipe credit card now. Once you've done that, you'll swipe the card through the swiper. And usually what happens is the credit card will process and the screen will become blank. Once the screen has become blank, just click back on the Classes tab. Go back into your roster and it'll say that the client's transaction is paid. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. If you don't swipe a credit card transaction and you manually input it, the credit card processing fees are almost twice as much. So please let me know so I can walk you through it if this video doesn't explain it or feel free to contact me directly and we'll figure something out. Make sure that you unplug the um, credit card swiper after you've processed the tra transaction. If you don't do that, um, it makes the iPad weird, like it won't let you type up stuff in. So once it's processed, make sure that you plug, unplug it and put it away.